New Haven neighborhood on edge tonight after a spike in car break-ins on their streets. Police in New Haven asking neighbors to keep their eyes open after a string of car break-ins. It's happening in the Worcester Square neighborhood, which has been plagued by car break-ins over the last few years. News 8's Aaron Cox on the scene in New Haven. The increase in car break-ins happening right here in the Worcester Square neighborhood, as well as parts of downtown. And tonight, New Haven police sharing with us their new strategy to stop it. A taped up car window in Worcester Square, a sign thieves have hit. You can't leave things in your car that attract, they're not going to break in your car generally if they don't see anything. He's right, police say part of the problem, people are leaving items out in plain sight, making it easy for thieves to smash, grab and get away. News 8 obtaining police statistics for the neighborhood, showing 12 break-ins this week, eight the week before, and already 51 since the start of the year. That's the most among the department's nine neighborhood districts. And in most cases, it's the GPS they're stealing, because folks like Terry Barrett just leave them in the window. They are targeting the GPSs. Well, now you're making me want to go back in my car and take it down. <laughs> and we're going to watch you do it. Go ahead. So Terry is saving his GPS from being ripped off, and the reason so many are swiped? Quick cash. Turns out stolen GPS units are now being sold at neighborhood corner stores and bodegas. So police are launching an undercover operation targeting the local black market. We're sending undercover people out there to find out uh, who, in fact, is buying this stuff, where it's coming from. So the next time you park your car, make sure you look around and you've gotten everything out of sight. Reporting on the scene in New Haven, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.